begin here tonight at 5 with the new information we have learned about that Dayton police officer injured in the line of duty. Good evening. I'm Mark Allen. And good evening. I'm Katie Houston. Alexa Ashwell is live with what she's found out in our top story at 5. We've learned Michael Hargrove is the man who led police on this pursuit that ended in front of Good Samaritan Hospital after 6 last night. That's where Dayton police officer Willie Hooper was struck by a van while deploying stop sticks in an attempt to stop Hargrove. I spoke with Officer Hooper over the phone today. He tells me he suffered a fractured shoulder blade and has several cuts and bruises but is now recovering at home. This police report outlines the rest. This is the man who police say refused to stop after claiming he had a bomb in his SUV and wanted to kill himself, 33-year-old Michael Hargrove. A slow pursuit began in the 500 block of Salem Avenue just before 6 p.m. Their officers say they spotted Hargrove driving his SUV but refused to stop. The report goes on to say at the intersection of Catalpa and West Hillcrest, Officer Willie Hooper was outside his vehicle when the suspect screamed to him, I have a bomb, and continued driving. Police resorted to stop sticks in an effort to stop Hargrove. Officer Willie Hooper was deploying his at the intersection of Salem and Philadelphia when he was hit by a van driven by a woman. Three children were riding with her. The driver, 27-year-old Ashley Jennings, told police she didn't see Officer Hooper. The 26-year veteran of the department and four-year veteran of the Dayton Bomb Squad was rushed to Miami Valley Hospital. Jennings was arrested after investigators discovered she had an outstanding warrant for forgery and theft. Officers were forced to break out the windows of Hargrove's SUV before he surrendered. Lieutenant Wendy Stiver says the actions of the officers were just due to the nature of his threat. A bomb was not located. Stiver says it's clear the suspect was mentally distraught, which isn't uncommon during this time of year. We ask that family members pay attention to each other, check in with each other, during, especially during the holidays, if there's other things going on, and make efforts to help your loved ones out before they get to the point where they're despondent and they're taking desperate measures. And right now we are waiting for police to release the dash cam video that captured Officer Hooper being hit by the van. Officer Hooper is not allowed to talk with us on camera at this time. The investigation is ongoing. Tonight, both Jennings and Hargrove remain in the Montgomery County Jail. Hargrove is charged with inducing panic and failure to comply. Reporting live, Alexa Ashwell, 2 News.